Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, my name's Caitlin. Welcome. Today we have update... Oh, I should have looked this off before I started filming. It's update four of our Project 10 uses and this is the best update by far. We have seven rollouts. Seven rollouts. I'm... Well done me. Seven things we've hit 10 uses on. Uh, mm, that's a lie. Five things we hit 10 uses on, two things I'm rolling out because of decluttering. So um, yeah, maybe not seven strictly, but hey ho, seven rollouts. That means seven things rolling in, which is super duper exciting. I'm so excited. But before we jump into the video, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I'm also doing Vlogmas this year, so you don't want to miss that. And yeah, let's jump into the video. I'm very blue. Why am I so blue toned? Let's try fix that as well. <laughs> okay, let's go down my little list. I've got my little notebook. This is my Project Pan notebook. And as you can see, there's a lot of highlighted shades, which means shades that we're rolling out. Okay, so the first thing on the list, I think we all kind of secretly knew this was gonna happen. Why am I so light now? Jesus Christ! <laughs> the sun's going in and out of the clouds, so we're just gonna have to deal with this little patch here. I hope it's not too distracting. But um, this is the Pastel Roses Milky Way. It's a loose pigment. Don't get me wrong, I say this every update. It's beautiful. But I need to be in a very specific mood to try and use it. So I only used it four times in this project. This month I've, I haven't used it, so I am going to be rolling it out. I never want project pans to be like a chore for me, so if I just feel like I'm not using something, I am going to roll it out. I've had it in for three months, so I've had, you know, a good go at it, but um, yeah, it's just not quite for me, so I'm going to be rolling it out. I'm going to be using it when I'm in the mood to use it, but I'm not going to be forcing myself to use it. Okay, I closed the curtains just because that sun was doing my head in. I hope it's not too dark for you now, but... I'm very sorry. The The sun has a mind of its own, clearly. All right, next we have my little Lottie London pigment, and it, this is so beautiful. It's just a very neutral, molten gold looking pigment. It is so gosh darn beautiful. And I used this the last two times that I needed this month. We started this month with eight uses used it twice just for everyday uni looks just popping it all over the lid and going out it was absolutely stunning I got this in a glossy box I'm so happy that I've used it I've got to use it I just loved it it was a little bit of a, a push this past few weeks just because I've had a kidney infection so um it's been difficult but I got it I got through it and it can be rolled out this one was also pretty challenging this is the Colourpop Making Mauves palette um I don't really know how I feel about this palette. It's not my colour story really. It's beautiful, it's pretty, but like using it 10 times was a struggle. <laughs> we got there, we've hit the 10 uses, but it, I don't know. I don't find that these colours work together well. This is the only dark shade and it's very cool toned. If there was more of like a warm tone mauve that was like this depth, a bit like this, but a matte. I think I would have got so much more use out of it, but I found that I was doing the same look over and over, if you know what I mean. So yeah, it was pretty hard. These aren't my colors anyway, but I did push myself and I hit the 10 uses. I had to use it four times this month, which is more times than I've used in any month, but I did enjoy using it. I love the formula, like the quality is beautiful, but it's just the colors. I mean, I find that this shade, this shade, and this shade all kind of look the same. So yeah, it was just a little bit hard, but we did it, we got through it, and I can roll it out. Next, this is the Revolution Peach Blush Palette. I hit my 10 uses on this. This was so easy to use because it's just beautiful. I used it eight times last month, so this month I only had to use it twice. Obviously, I hit that no issues, and yeah, it can be rolled out. It is such a pigmented blush palette. It is just beautiful and I'm so glad that it is kind of more used now. The pans are quite small, that's the only gripe that I have with this, just the pan size. And this shimmery blush I didn't use, I just used these three. I just think it's beautiful, it's magical. Um, yeah, I Heart Revolution. This is one of their big hits. I know they have hits and misses. This is definitely a hit from them. So 
also this is another thing that I'm rolling out just because I'm decluttering. This is the XX Revolution Chameleon palette. I did say last month that I didn't really know what I was going to do with this. I have decided I'm getting rid of it. I don't want to hit my 10 uses if I'm just going to get rid of it because I already know how I feel about it. So there's no real there's no real point using it. I won't have any motivation to use it if I know I'm just giving it away. So this is going to be rolling out. The shades are just very lacklustre. Like I have my pastel roses shimmers, like I'm wearing one of them today on my lid. These just come nowhere near close enough for me. So yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of it. And so is rolling out the project. This is the first thing that's actually staying in the project. This is my Barry M Euphoric metallic cream eyeshadow in Honoured. It's just a real nice taupey cool tone shade. I only use this once. So uh, that's one total uses <laughs> in two months. That's disgusting. It is so bad, I know. But um, yeah, I've been working on a lot of things. So one use on this, not good enough. It's staying in. I'm determined to get more uses out of it next month. Like. It's not good enough. Okay, the Avant Primer. I rolled this in because I thought in 10 uses it would be done, it would be empty. I've hit my 10 uses and it is, it's not empty, it's still going. So I do have this in a shot my stash and I'm just getting rid of it naturally. Getting rid of it sounds so bad. I'm getting use out of it naturally. Uh, I can, f like, it is so light. It is unreal, like, any day now I will use this up, like, can you hear how hollow that is? It's going soon. I've hit 10 uses on it, it is rolling out, but it's staying in my shop my stash just until it's gone. So, yeah. Next, we hit 10 uses on this. This is the Kiko Milano Full Coverage 2-in-1 Foundation. Uh, I, I really fell in love with this. I was really hesitant to put this in the project just because in the past, when I've used it before, it could come across as quite almost looking a bit powdery on the skin, if you know what I mean. Just like not looking very smooth. But I've really played around with this and every time I used it, I just loved it. I don't know if it was the powder I was using before or I, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing before, but this, I really, really, I've really, really enjoyed this. Hit my 10 uses and I'm glad I put it in the project because now I know how I feel about it and now I know that I love it. And it's not gonna be sat in my drawers going, Last time I used that it looked cakey and powdery. I know that it was something else. It was an outside factor And yeah, I know that I love it. So that's rolling out. Okay, these last two things are staying in I'm kind of glad that there are a few things staying in because it was a lot. I have my MUA highlighter I used this five times this month. We only rolled it in last month. So a total of five This is what it looks like. It's like a really strong gold shift I do have a highlighter in my Rolling Project 10 pan that I'm trying to finish. So that's why this doesn't have that much progress on it because I'm so focused on trying to finish that one. But yeah, five times. I do want to try and roll it out next month, just an extra five times. I don't think it'll be that hard. Yeah, it's just, it's a nice highlighter. And then this MUA bronzer I have also used five times. I really don't like this. Uh, this may be rolling out next month due to being decluttered. I do have a massive declutter series coming soon. So this is probably gonna go. Uh, so yeah, it's just not pigmented. There's no pigmentation on it at all. Like, just nothing. Uh, it, it's just a chore to use. I sit there for like 10 minutes trying to put bronzer on my face. So this is probably gonna be rolling out next month, but I'm gonna see if I can get some more uses out of it between now and then. I don't know, right, okay, we've got a lot of stuff rolling in, so I'm just gonna go for it. I've got a big basket. I've picked things that, uh, how do we put this? I pick, I've picked things that could be in for a while. I've kind of stepped up with this project because I've, I've put, like things like a foundation and a primer, they're very easy to get 10 uses out of. So I've decided to try and step it up a little bit. I may sprinkle a few gimme products in here and there, but a lot of these things are commitments. So yeah, let's let's get on with it. So the first thing is my Beauty Bay bronzer. This is in the shade Donut. I'm wearing it today, actually. I don't really know how I feel about this and that's why I wanna put it in the project. 
I don't know if I like it, I don't know if I hate it, um, hopefully within 10 uses I'm going to be able to find out what I find, I'm going to be able to find out what I think about this, that would be great. Uh, I just want to get some opinions on this, I want to know what I feel about it, yeah, I, I just don't really know right now. I do have a, another bronzer in a project, so we're going to have to split time, and I also have another bronzer coming in as well. Oops, but... As I said, commitments. Let's try and amp this project up a little bit. So yeah, this is the first thing that's coming in. It's in the shade Donut. I just want to play around with it a little bit. I also want to bring in my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I've been working on my Huda Beauty Overachiever concealer for so long and I've been neglecting all my other concealers. So I'm bringing this in. It's one of my favourite concealers. I don't think it's worth the money. I'm just going to put that out there. I got this for free with Look Fantastic points. So if you do have, if you do see it on a really good deal, then get it. I don't know why I'm reviewing this in a Project Pan video, but uh, yeah, I, I just want to get use out of it. As I said, I've been neglecting my concealers. So yeah, 10 uses on this. I also want to get 10 uses on this. This is my Emco Beauty Cheek and Lip Tint. As you can see, I hit an air bubble very, very fast. So with this, I'm more kind of curious to see where 10 uses gets me. Uh, we're about up to here right now. I'm very curious. Um, can 10 uses finish this off? Probably not. But yeah, I just want to see how far we can get with 10 uses. This is the other bronzer that we're rolling in. This is the I Heart Revolution contour palette. As I... It's very similar to the bronzer, the other bronzer. I don't really know how I feel about this. I just want to get some opinions on it. It's got obviously a highlight and a bronzer and hopefully I'm going to be able to really get to know this a little bit. This is one of the reasons I love this project and why I started this project. It's... I feel very guilty when I start using products that aren't in projects. So this is why I kind of started this to get use out of things and not feel guilty about them because I'm still making progress in something. So yeah, I just want to get to know this, see if I like it, see if I don't. Next product, Jesus, there's so many Rollins. The fifth thing is a little brother or a little sister. I'm bringing them both in. This is the Honoured that we just talked about. And this is the shade Aurora. So this is what this looks like. It is a very beautiful blue to green to purple kind of cream eyeshadow. It's the Barry M Euphoric Metalist, Metallic Cream Eyeshadow. Wow, English. Uh, yeah, I want to get 10 uses out of it. Hopefully, this may have been a weird decision because I'm doing so badly on that other cream eyeshadow. But I mean, it's going to push me... It's gonna be fine. I I think it's a it's a fun thing. And as I said, commitment. Come on. <laughs> the sixth thing is my Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. This is what this looks like. I'm wearing this today. This is what it looks like. The reason I rolled it in is because I have a very murky green eyeshadow in my Pan Those eyeshadows, and this shade goes beautifully with it. I'm wearing them both today as you can see. And yeah, this shade Sweetie Pie and then Fall Vibes go so well with that. So I'm going to roll that in for that. And also I just want to get used on the palette as well. I bought this in September and I've only used it a handful of times. So I want to get to know it. It's beautiful. It smells gorgeous. Oh, so yeah, 10 uses on this. And then finally, oh my god, I feel like I've been rolling things in forever. This is my Lethal Cosmetics Custom Palette. Now, I've called this one Smoke on the Water. I don't know. I don't know. But this is what it looks like. This is my Custom Lethal Palette. I want to use it ten times. I've only used it once or twice since I got it. I didn't get it that long ago, so that's alright, I guess. But yeah, I want to get 10 uses out of it. It's just my colour story. And I can use it every day as well with these neutral with these neutral tones. So yeah, 10 uses on this. Just to get use out of it. What I'm not counting, I'm being very strict with myself. I used this shade in my eyebrows today to fill them in. I'm not counting that as a use. I'm counting it if I use it as eyeshadow. 
because it would be so easy for me to just use this 10 times in my brows and then roll it out. I don't want to I don't want to do that. I want to use the palette as a palette. Whoo! Okay. Wow, that was Whew. <laughs> That was a long video. That was a, a lot of roll-ins. So, I'm not really sure how well next month's going to go just because there's so many new things rolling in. Hopefully it's going to be okay. I know I'll have a few rollouts, but it's not going to be like this. This has been a bit crazy. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. I really enjoy this project. Every month I fall more and more in love with it. I'm definitely keeping this in 2022. So exciting, 2022. And yeah, oh my god, I will, I will love you and leave you now, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please a like and subscribe because it will mean the absolute world to me and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!